Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back today. Downtown Kedopapos, well, between the harbour area and a bus. That is the Paphos Sightseeing Tour, and it was established in 2009. And this bus takes you on a little trip around downtown Paphos and uptown Paphos, and it lasts about an hour. Kicks off at 10 o'clock in the morning. There's another one at 11, another one at 12, another one at 1, another one at 2, and another one at 3. So therefore, it takes around about 45 minutes of you driving around. Receiving a booth, what have you got to say? Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. So we're kicking off at the Paphos Sightseeing Tour. There it is. It's one of those double-decker buses that got involved in the collision on one of the bridges in the UK back in the 60s and 70s. And they recycled it out and then sent it out to Paphos. I'm only joking, obviously. And then it goes off and takes you on a wonderful, wonderful, magical mystery tour. That's what you're looking for. And if you're wondering how much it is, ten euros fifty for an adult and five euros for a littley. And they also have another idea at their strip, uh, which is that you can hop on and hop off. So in other words, you can buy a 24-hour ticket. So perhaps you can go up on the bus to the old town get off and go shopping and then hop back on later or even the following day not a bad idea receiving yes and many times i've seen those buses but in white the That's wedding, the wedding buses, bus but yeah. the same very style mm -hmm. and i saw the people screaming and shouting on the top of the bus with a full of music and the bride and groom looking so happy yeah, it is. So, Christine LaBeouf has seen one of these buses. In fact, there's two of them, and they are in white, and they say happy celebrations on the side of them. And they're actually owned by, well, Paphos Sea Cruises. In other words, they're the big boys on the harbour area, which is where we're going now, and they own the Ocean Vision. They've also got a couple of wedding cars. So if you understand, you can go on their open-air bus and have a tour around and a monkey about, once you've committed the nuptials, shall we say after you've been in their wedding car and then you can cap it all and go on the ocean vision super yacht and cruise the beautiful mediterranean sea for four hours of five star luxury all inclusive drinks and food and you're going to have a great 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 time that's for sure now wait for it because there's a beautiful view coming up there it is so this is where the promenade crescendos into the town town go to Paphos harbour area and it's looking absolutely spectacular today, Paracelli, that is Paracelli. for sure. And Receive Le Booth has seen some tandem parasailing over yonder. So that's Mr. Nick from Nick's Water Sports with the red parasailing parachute up. And then, well, they're not that close, Receive. You don't worry. They look close, but they're not that close. And then the yellow one, the boat is Captain Saba, which means that that belongs to the Paphos, Paphos Water Sports. And look. There's one of our number one Gubarus, Mr. Chris. Now, this is Mr. Chris's final, final day. And if you're wondering where we are, back end of the first week of November, and Mr. Chris is now off to the Greek islands with his son, Mr. Mike, and they're going to go scuba diving. Is that right? Yeah, of course. And they're going to collect as many of these as they can. If you're wondering what these are, these are Mediterranean sea sponges. So they spend their winter holidaying in Greece, scuba diving, stealing these from the Greek waters, and then luckily, because there hasn't been a Greek exit, they're all part of Europe, if you understand, if you're watching from the UK, they then can smuggle them in in rucksacks into Paphos Airport and set up stall here next spring and summer and sell them to you. Am I right? Of course. And he's even going to get a couple of sharks. There's, there's his last shark tooth there. There it is. Have a look at that. That's the last, last one. He's even going to catch a couple of sharks, cook them, eat them, and then detooth them and bring them back. Am I right? Is it right? Yes. And maybe the last day as well for this girl over here. That's Jenny the best. The greatest hair braider in the world. Not just downtown Kedopapos. So if you want to come down here, she'll braid the life out of you. And if you understand, that's some of her previous, previous victims. And they all said that she was very, very good and rather gentle. And she braided the life out of them and braided the life out of the wallets. Yes? I mean, any of the season. I yeah, when are you going to finish today, now? Yeah. Today, maybe? Today or tomorrow. Today or tomorrow, yeah. yeah. It's going a bit quieter now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'll be back in April? In, uh, March, April? May, I think May. Yeah? yeah. 
Have you had a good season? Yes. You've been busy. I've watched you. You've been busy. You've been busy. We'll see you next year. Thank you very much. She is a star amongst ours. You heard it from her own words. She's had a very, very good season. She's looking forward to seeing some old friends and some new friends next year. And we wish her all the best. She's now going to go and chill out on a beach somewhere. But don't worry, she's coming back next year. Are you coming back next year? Of course I will. Of course he's coming back next year. Mr. Chris. Thanks, Mr. Chris. And we'll look forward to seeing you. We will look forward to seeing you. So don't forget, on the Berg Bird, come out here. The season starts very, very early for most British people because, you know, to be honest, February is quite warm. We've got two superstars coming out and they're going to stay in the hotel just up there to the rear of the Royal, which is the Dionysus Hotel. Yeah. Uh, so, Miss Andrew, Mr. Mart, they're coming out on, I think it's the 11th or 12th of February, which is half term in the UK. And they're going to come out and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday in there. And as I was telling you in an email the other day, they're going to close down your hotel for three months and they're going to give it a refurb. You're having a new pool, you're having a new terraced area. They're going to monkey around in some of the rooms and bits and bobs. So you're not only coming to the hotel, which is already a very, very nice hotel indeed, in the greatest location in all the Paphos, but you're going to come to a refurbished hotel. So we're looking forward to making a brand, brand new video on that hotel when you arrive. And we're actually going to sleep under your bed and wait from you for about the 7th of February, which is just a week before Valentine's Day. Well, just give me enough time to get enough presents for Miss Ochi who's sleeping in the booth. Mr. Martin, don't forget when you're in Cyprus, because you're in Cyprus, you do have to buy Miss Andrea a Valentine's present and card. If you don't, simple execution. Miss Oh, how strict you are, Mr. Paul. I'm sure that he will buy a lovely present for such a wonderful, wonderful woman because it can't be other way around. No, well, they've been married for 22 years, so let's hope that he has that little special thing up his sleeve, up his woolly sleeve, because it'll be very cold back in Norfolk at the moment. So, I'm gonna show you the view. It's a great view indeed. There's a lot of parasailing. They've now put a bit of a distance between them. So there's Mr. Nick's water sports with the red one, and just over there is Mr. Abraham. All the way from the Paphos water sports and boat trips. And look at that view. The sun is glistening on the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And that sea is a licking and a lap in the coastline of downtown Kedipapos. Bit of a theme on this channel. That sky is blue. That sea is blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All it's missing is... You. So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Because Cyprus is simply waiting just for you. There we are. You can't say those words any better, can you? We are in paradise, so get yourself on that bird or a canoe, paddle like crazy, because Cyprus is quite simply waiting for you. There's some big boats in the harbour. That's the ocean vision just over there. That'll be going out a bit later on because the sea, as you can see, is very, very calm indeed. And as tradition goes, well, it's Saturday, and Saturday night that big bird goes out and they have a firework crescendo and you get to have a five-star luxury cruise, eat and drink all that you can. Just over here, one of our superstars, that's Mr. Rickos, he's chilled out. He's got my favorite tipple, which is a can of Coke. What does he do? Hi, Rickos, you all right? Hi, guys. He's in charge of the super jumbo glass bottom boat. He's not just in charge of it, he owns it. So that's the boss. What does it do? It takes you out for a cruise. And Captain Hassan is in charge of that bit. And then they dock up and go do some swimming. Last bottom boat, you can get to see some turtles and some other bits and bops. And that's the last few days, guys. This is the last few days. So if you are in Paphos, it's the last closed. few days. He's closing down. When are you going to reopen, Rickos? Uh, we don't know. We are close to before Christmas, I think. And know. then next year, March, April? Oh, in uh, April. 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 Again, so yeah. April it kicks off again. So, the, you know, the weather in Cyprus is pretty good, but obviously the sea will get a bit chopsy. So... They have to limit their cruises. Maybe they'll do some special cruises in mid-February, but the season officially opens in April to May. This week, it's all over. But you've made a couple of bob. You've made some money. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's made plenty of money. <laughs> so, you're going to finish today? No, no, no. We'll finish in a few days. A few days. End the next when, week. End the next think, week. Yeah. yeah. I think when that I weather goes a bit... It's uh, going slow now. The cruise has already stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's slowing down. Thanks, Mr. Rickos. We wish you a good day. So, you've heard it from the, well, cat's mouth, shall we say. They're going to close down probably next weekend. 
It all depends on the weather, obviously. As the sea gets chopsy, well, it's game over and the boats shut down. Right, my grandfather's in town. There he is. Another rival to Mr. Chris. He's got a bit of music playing. Yes, us. So we're going to keep on going into the downtown Cato Paphos Harbour. And it's possibly the greatest harbour in the world. An actual working harbour. It's got some super boats. It's got some fish boats. It's got some big boats. It's got some small boats. And it's even got my boat and a couple of police boats. And if you're very, very naughty, well, they're going to catch you. They're going to beat you. And they may even shoot you. There he is. Yes, yes. Oh, he wants to have a word with us. This is Mr. The Same, as we call him. He's in charge of promoting the boat. Yes, ask me. Ask in Greek and she'll translate. There we are. It's a very sick. Here we are. Right. It's a very sick. Oh, she's <laughs> right. He's just saying sort of joke. Yep. Um, the pear, the it you pear. eat pear. Yep. When uh, somebody cut the pear, who ate it? I said I don't know. Somebody must eat it. And he said no. Somebody he was uh, who was there. Yeah. There's a joke in there somewhere. Ah, yeah, yeah. Someone who was there, exactly that people at the Right. I think he means that we're a pair. We can never be apart. <laughs> Aristopoli. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank we're going to storm the Queso Paphos Harbour and we'd like you to come with us. Have a look at that. Beautiful, beautiful day, by the way. If you're wondering what time of year it is, the new theme of the channel is to let you know exactly what time the year is. End of the first week of November. Yep, you heard me correctly. End of the first week of November. And as you can see, well, there's not just tourists walking around in shorts, there's locals walking around in shorts and t-shirts. And there's locals swimming in the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. It's a truly, truly spectacular time of year. King's Restaurant, there it is. There's the Gumbaros, Gumbaro number one, Gumbaro number one and Gumbaro number one. Quite busy, as you can see. Lunchtime service now. Next one on the block, Theo's Restaurant. One of the best restaurants in the whole of Paphos. Have a look at that. Very, very busy indeed. And we've got Gumbaro number one is in charge. Mr. Stefan is in charge today. There he is. You all right, Mr. Stefan? How are you doing? Good? Good to see you. You all right? How are you doing? Busy? Busy. Always busy. He's always busy. It's a weird season in Cyprus. What happens is, during the summer season, it's very, very busy with tourists and visitors to the island. But, of course, as the summer season ends, that's replaced by the locals. Because there's an awful lot of people who live in Paphos permanently. When I say people, I mean foreigners, British, Russians, Germans, Swiss, all sorts of people. This is the harbour area. So if you want to get on one of those boat trips, this is where you'd come. That is Major Tom from Ground Control. Looking sexy as usual. There he is. He's having a wave. He's checking his Facebook account. That's one of their ships there. The big boy in the block. Ocean Vision. And as you can see, the super glass bottom boat owned by Mr. Rickos, who we were talking to before, is out. And then the sea blue cruiser is out. And then there is Miss Ruth. And she is propositioning, if that's the correct phrase, to people. And that is the wave dancer. And then just over there is the Jolly Roger Fun Cruiser. So you're going to do some monkeying about. And that's the one you would go on. That's a snorkeling boat. And then you've got this sightseeing cruise. This is the Edoro shipwreck they're going to have a look at. So they're going to see the Demer... Demer oh, I can't even say it. Anyway, they're going to see that shipwreck. They're going to see that shipwreck. And they go out to the sea curves. And it's a great, great cruise. Again, mentioning uh, Martin and... Um, Andrea, they went on that and they told us the barbecue was absolutely spectacular. They cook a live barbecue when they dock out at sea and said it was absolutely wonderful. You see? Yeah, this area, by the way, are uh, so getting a little bit more quiet. And as you see those uh, little um, things where the people sitting and advertising their boats are missing at the moment. Well, some of them are closing down. Because I can't see the Liberty's Mama. Yeah, yeah, Liberty's Mama. Yeah. Some of them are closing down, that's for sure. Right, next restaurant on the block. We can't miss any of them. Number one, Gumbaru. There he is, Gumbaru, number one. His name's not Tommy. 
His name is Marinos. Marinos number one. Marinos Barbero. <laughs> Barbero, nice to a great name. <laughs> the S-class cl driving, driving host of the Pelican Restaurant. Busiest restaurant in downtown harbour area of Paphos. There's its branding. And there's the one and only star. As we watch the other star go and have a little chat. So these are the two most beautiful birds in the downtown Cato Paphos harbour area. Watching Receive the Booth. And of course, Miss Coco, who is pruning herself. There we are, she's having a good prune. She's always cleaning herself. She's so clean woman that I can't imagine if she wasn't so clean, people wouldn't photograph her. Making a few goggles. She's having a bit of a clip around the back end, by the looks of it. She's decided that yeah, she her jupper care. needs a bit of a clipping. 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 Right, come on, Grisivi. Let's leave her at it. Let's continue our walk out to the sunset viewpoint. A couple of restaurants to mention, a couple of hands to shake. So let's keep going. Our favorite place, the Gilalamo Bistro. The man in charge, there he is. He always gets upset if we don't see him in a day. All right, Emmanuel, good? Busy? Not too bad. Not that bad. Not too bad. There's the star. Greatest smile in the whole of Paphos. We'll see you a bit later. Keep the table, keep the table. Ah, there's another great smile. This is the rear of house. How are you doing? You right? Good? Gamma, gamma, gamma. That's a gamma, 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 There's lots of gamma jubbers around here. If you're a gamma jubber, that means you come from Georgia. You understand me? Next restaurant, that's that one. Again, very, very busy restaurant indeed. There's their branding, there's their sign. Sale at the castle. That's the rear of house. That's the front of house. The man in charge today, well, He's hello. known as Mr. Sixpack. There he is. Hello. Yo, Andy. Nice How are you to see you guys. Busy? How are you? Hello, Precious. How, How are you? Hello. How are you? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Keep busy. The weather is fantastic. Exactly. We have to wait and see what this ever is going to bring down mm -hmm. to us. So it starts from Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's let's see in. how it goes. Yeah. But I have no worries whatsoever. My mm -hmm. wife is in Lima, so with my mother in law. I'm over here for the weekend by myself. I'm fucking having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even edit that out. You understood. He's having a great, great time. Stevie's is the last but not the least. That's the sports bar area. Front of house, there he is. The superstar and monk superstars. You all right? Pull me away from home. Good? Weekend, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. And Gamma Jubba. <laughs> Gamma Jubba number one. There we are. So let's keep going and get out to the sunset viewing point. It's a great, great, great place to be. We've got the Zorky coming up. That's one of the new attractions in downtown Cato Paphos. But I warn you now, please, 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 it's a great boat, great cruise. But if you get on that boat, check under every single seat. If there's a hairy man called Mr. Yanis on there, jump off that boat. There it is. The Zorky Yellow Submarine, semi-submersible submarine that takes you out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And you get to see a lot of monkeying around. You get to see some turtles and other things swimming around. But again, I warn you, I warn you, I warn you. If Mr. Yanis is on that boat, jump off. Do whatever you want, but get off that boat. Otherwise, you're in serious, serious trouble. Receiving the booth? I don't think so. He's I'm only joking. joking. I'm only but joking. Well, really I don't know, actually. He looks like a teddy bear. He's like a teddy bear. Yeah, the hair he's got. Then it becomes wild when you get him trapped on the, the zorky. The hair that he's got on his body, oh my God. Man. He's the sexiest man in the whole of Paphos, so he says. Yeah. <laughs> so you get that? So he says. He's a nice guy, actually. He's a friend. We consider him to be a friend. Uh, but as I tell you, if you get on that yellow boat, please, please check under the chairs, go down the basement, and make sure he's not on that boat. Otherwise, you are in serious, serious trouble. Big boats, small boats, fishing boats over yonder, some big dark grey boats, they're owned by the Gumbaras in blue. If they catch you doing something naughty, well, they're going to beat you and they may even shoot you. There's a lot of fishing boats and that is watching Grisivi on the booth. Shall we go and see if we can find the Chichotchka rock? Chichotchka rock with Daos. I'll fall down. Well, you know we can that. go and find it. Find it. We're going to have a look. Out there, there is a rock that rocks side to side, which we inadvertently found and then it was stolen from us by the pain boys they barricaded it off and they've taken a license out on it and it's now known as the chuchka rock and apparently that's going to be a tourist attraction next year but at the moment it still should we say belongs to miss ochi receive la booth which is her yeah it's not only belongs it's just uh, i can rent it if you want i'm not paying any more money for that no no no, no? stick with us we are going to get out to it but we're going to show you some spectacular views across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea to the rear of the rocks, to the rear of the castle. 
as a sunset viewing point. It's where people gather at night to watch the sun go down. And if you want to get up very, very early in the morning, of course, you can go and stand on there and watch the sun as it rises and cooks downtown Cyprus yet again. Greatest place in the world, by the way. If you're looking for somewhere for that last bit of winter sun, well, Paphos could be that place for you because it's cooking us as usual yet again today on the island of love. Have a look at that. Over yonder, blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. It really, really doesn't get much better than that. And this is where people sit at night. And up there is the sunset viewing point. So we're going to follow the rear end of watching Receiver Booth, and she's going to guide us to that point. And we're going to get some great, great views indeed. Oh, and a bit of dancing as well. There we are. See, it was well worth waiting till the end of the video. Doesn't get much better than that. The dancing, wiggling rear end of Oching Receiver Le Bouffe, framed by the beautiful, beautiful blue, blue Mediterranean Sea with the sun glistening in the background. It's that time, Receive a book. Well, <clears throat> I really, really, totally, totally enjoyed the walk around this loveliest luxury places. And I wish you to enjoy the same way like we did. I would like to tell you many thanks for watching and tell you that we're loving you to be. And don't forget to come and see another of our Madness. What's left me to say is thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click, subscribe, and please come back for that little bit more of our madness. I'm going to leave you with the spectacular views of the working Paphos Harbour out to the blue, blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Thanks for watching. I don't think it gets much better than that. <laughs>